three handicap, trying to decide whether or not to keep fading the ball at the cost of some distance, or try to grind out and work on hitting more of a draw, which would lead to a better ball flight through the wind and ultimately more distance. Looking at the swing, it's a pretty athletic move, the setup looks fine, I'm fine with the head tilt as your initial move on the takeaway, but soon thereafter I think you have just a little bit too much sway of the body. You can move off of it a little bit, but when you're getting one to two inches off the ball, it's just more of a slide and recovery to get you back through impact area. So I think that you could be a little bit more consistent with your low point if you were to sway less and rotate a bit more. Now from this impact position, it does look like your right elbow has already begun to extend and release to roll that club in the follow through. Now you're in three handicap, which I imagine a decent ball striker as well. So I can't go too far into this from this angle, but just know with that much release in the club face, there is a high rate of rotation for that club face on the way through strike. So that could just be your two way miss coming out because you have to roll that face through so hopefully from this down the line action we can see where you can improve and one of the more classic things to look for in the takeaway is what the face angle or the face position looks like at p2 now position two is club parallel to the ground where you've worked that club well to the inside and it looks like that toe has rolled open you can get away with the inside because by the time you make your transition and top move you're not well over the top you're probably just a small number of degrees outside the in which would still promote that cut but i do feel pretty confident in saying that if you were to get your wrist angles to bow that face more down and retain that same angle to the top you'd have a higher likelihood of being able to drop that club path back down more from the inside but the reason that you're having trouble making this change is because as your club is approaching impact you make a good downward strike of the ball and either it was a toe-ish hit or you're actually just keeping the face that square to open on the way through that's why you let those are that's why your arms get jammed up you do not let that club face roll over because given your slight over the top path that can go and deviate on the pull hook so if you are trying to commit to the fade don't change your path you have to just try not to release that club face as much on the way through try to keep that elbow tucked in a bit more and promote more forward shaft lean get the club to lean more forward hit punch shots and punch pushes i know your ball flight's already low so you shouldn't have too much of an issue holding on to that angle a bit longer just to stop the ball from going left more rotation of the body obviously will help that so turn and hold if you're trying to stick with the cut but if you're trying to learn the draw take this advice which would be start your backswing a little bit more up the plane line so don't get it so far to the inside but more importantly try to keep that face angled more down to the ground because like i said that can entice your path to want to drop back down more from the inside and just having that closed face bias will as well at least start the ball left or with the proper path give you that right push draw so lastly as your comparison from this down the line view we'll go with cam because i want to see where his face angles are through the swing and he can work the ball a bit of both ways but i think this one's more of a fade let's see club is outside the line with the hands and club face but look at where that face is pointed more down towards the ball which is in actuality square i know it was taught for many years to rotate that toe open but that has since been proven false the more upright transition leading to an inverted loop in the downswing is what's going to bring his path right alongside the primary path line the clearance or turn of the lower body will allow him to maintain those lag angles like we saw from your face on view so the main takeaway here from viewing cam swing clearing up the lines is just looking at the face at p2 angled down to the ball looking at the face at p5 blurry but still angled down to the ball with that little variance in face angle that can be held and maintained through strike without feeling like you have to release and your hand path can naturally work more inside as well so i know there was a lot of rambling jumping back and forth there but good luck trying to close that face and start working your path a bit more upright send a swing.com